ANEP initiative has uh, four main goals. One, to increase the number and the quality of training residents so that they will be the future faculty members of the three public universities in Mozambique and others that will come later. The second goal is to develop the infrastructure for the research because we see that uh, uh, we are behind in the research. We don't do much research in Mozambique due to diverse um, reasons. The third uh, goal is to develop the infrastructure for bioinformatic. Since we are a country with a lack of human resources and in fact MEP came to overcome, to help overcome this issue. Uh, we are based in Maputo and until five years ago we were the only medical school in the country. Now there are three more, two more public universities but they face, uh, they don't have enough uh, human resources for teaching. So with this uh, bioinformatic infrastructure, we'll be able to support uh, teaching uh, through telemedicine, to video conferences. We will also be able to create, we want to create a, a library where we are going to share all material, textbooks, uh, um, other materials for research, journals, so we'll be able to share with all of this uh, medical school. And um, the other aim of this bioinformatic component is to provide the distance learning and also uh, will um, help us to connect with other universities in the region and in the world so that we can have the same standards as an university around us. And the fourth aim of our initiative is to develop strategies for retention, health workers, especially medical doctors, where the MAP is uh, focusing, and also develop uh, strategies for sustainability. In principle, the MAP initiative is for five years. But after five years, we know that some of, some of the goals that we defined, we are not going to achieve them in full after these five years. But since we have this uh, MAP support, it is a way of starting to to these activities and also work on sustainability and um, this is one of the challenging we have. We are now at the end of the second year. At the, be the beginning the main challenge was to set up in place all we need, people talk with uh, different uh, stakeholders to set up the initiative and start our activities. Now in the, the, the second year, we feel that we have the basis of it. And it was also challenging sometimes to convince people, as always when you start something new, uh, there are people who don't, who don't believe, there are people who are reticent, and there are people who quickly pick it, pick it up and join us. So we've been working the first year in this, mainly in this one, set up the activities and also uh, working, meeting people, uh, talk to them, negotiating, because as you can see, um, these goals that we have proposed uh, means that we have to work with different institutions, different peoples. So, but now in this second year, we feel that we have the, we have the basis to work 
quietly and think ahead what's 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 going on well what's not going well and what we need to do to improve and even think in the middle term what's going to be well there are several things that uh, me and my team should be uh, proud of uh, the first things we are proud because we were able to bring all these different stakeholders together work together we plan everything together because if not we wouldn't be able to achieve our aims so once we set this basis then we started our activities the second thing that I'm a, I, I, am a, I am proud of is uh, in terms of training program. We have already achieved some visible goals. Yes, we have some achievements. Uh, in the past, until uh, we are supporting and the MAP initiative, the training of internists medical internists. In the past, the past years, um, there were a few people, few candidates wanting to do this specialty for different reasons. But with work that we've done in negotiating with the Medical Council, Minister of Health, working as a team, we were able last year to increase the number of uh, candidates to the specialty from around 6 to 30 mm -hmm. and this year also we will have more or less the same number or even more that's because people see how good our program is going so they they see they are motivated to candidate and do these specialties because there were several issues that would demotivate them to candidate and do the training residence in internal medicine. Mm -hmm. After a few more years, one thing that we will see, and in part now we can see, is the increased number of medical residents not only in the internal medicine but also in the other main specialties like surgery like uh, pediatrics and gynecology because what we've been doing that internal medicine has been uh, is working so well that uh, people are happy and other colleagues from other departments also want copy the experience and in fact we are working with them to help organizing uh, introducing new technologies new ways of teaching so in few years we'll have all these departments in this main teaching hospital but also we will have created an em embryo of people prepared to do the same in other main hospitals that having teaching activities because the national directorate of the hospitals in Mozambique which is based in Minister of Health knows the impact that uh, MAP is having in the internal medicine department because at the end what we do when we improve the teaching activities, we are improving the health care delivered to the patients. So they've seen the impact that uh, our MAP initiative has created in this department, that they asked us not only to support other departments in this, in this hospital, but to work with them and organize in other few hospitals so we will have it for sure replicated in other few hospitals in Mozambique we will have a core a strong core group of researchers we do 
a little research in Mozambique. And uh, the developing research is one of the strategy for to retain people and also for the sustainability. We will retain people because if they are able to write grants and get funded, first they will feel professionally happy about this. Through these grants, they will be able to improve their living, other living, living conditions they need in their uh, working place. They will be able to get incentives to improve their salaries. Mm? And of course, we will produce knowledge because since we don't have much people doing research, we don't know much about what is going on in terms of knowledge in Mozambique. So we will have been produced more knowledge. We are focusing mainly in the infectious disease because of the characteristics of our country. So I see in the future, at the end of these five years, we will have a strong group of researchers because we are, in terms of research, we are not only have, uh, not only we are creating the infrastructure in terms of laboratories to support this research, but we are doing courses to help people in, in methodology, in writing grantings, in writing papers, and the most important also, we have a very good patterns from UCSD, in Ciudad California, San Diego. So we have this uh, good partners, very engaged, and we are together working and seeking for grants to, to help improve uh, our goals in terms of research. And uh, although we have two years, we have written more than 30 projects. We have more than 10 funded. Uh, with support of MAP, we have created a research support center, which is very, very important because through this research support center, we will be able not only to do a good management as it is necessary for these grants, which have different ways of dealing with this, but also through this research support center, we, we, um, we want to partner, and we've been partnering, we, have, we want to partner with other institutions and uh, help people not only from uh, Universidad Eduardo Mondial, but uh, anyone in the country who wishes to do research, we will help to write this grant proposal, uh, we will help to, when the gets funded, we will help to conduct the research and until the final stage which goes with the publication. And now, in these few years, we have some results. The libraries and the information um, access is very, very important for our MAPI work and for the work that uh, the institution develops, you cannot teach if you don't have, you cannot teach properly if you don't have proper information. You cannot do research if you don't have information. So it's some things that we need every day. That's why in our MAP initiative, we have this component of bioinformatics. The first years were to improve the, the structure so we were able to put uh, the internet not only in the medical school but also in the departments of the hospital that we are working with this with this uh, uh, internet connection uh, the next step and we have already identified this until this month we will finish we have identified a place where, through the MAP initiative, we bought 10 clients. There is internet connection, and we want to 
fill with medical container, test books, uh, journals, so that not only will be shared by uh, not only will be used by us in Maputo, but we want to make it available to all medical schools. With this, it's important. We know that we will be able to achieve our goals. And then the challenge that we have now is to have someone prepared to deal with this uh, infrastructure that has been set. I'm glad that uh, once again, through this MEP symposium, it organized that uh, presentation that you did about the librarians. And I know that uh, there is a meeting coming of the African librarians. We didn't know that there is this asso association. It's good, and we are planning to send our librarian to this meeting. From since I was doing my medical studies, I knew that one day I want to teach. In that time, in Mozambique, because of the few medical doctors we were, every medical graduate, when finished the school, had to go to work in the community and then return, do the specialty. I'm talking about until 1985. No, sorry, until 1994. No one, the university, was not allowed to employ directly people, to recruit directly people to be to the faculty staff. And there was a reason for that. After the independence, all medical doctors left the country. The faculty was almost about to close. But the Minister of Health, in his mission, its mission, wanting to provide the health care to the people, took care of the, our medical school by using its medical employees to teach as a part-time. You know? So the priority was to provide health care. So when I finished my studies in 1994, I was the first group to be there were more, more doctors this time. So I was the first group of new graduates to be asked to stay, to graduate. We were 10. The dean made a, a, a meeting with us, asked us if we want to stay for teaching. Since I, I knew that one day I would like to teach, I immediately said, yes. I'm staying. The other colleagues of mine says, you are crazy. You should go and think. Because the way we were taught is we will be doctors to take care of the patients. But at the end, my colleagues also accepted. We were 10, 8 stayed at the medical school. So that's the way I started. <laughs> yes, we are learning some lessons. First, we need champions. MEPI goals are very ambitious. Our MEPI goals are very ambitious. So we need champions. We need to have people with us who believes that if we want, we can achieve what we propose to do. It's time consuming. But it is in our blood. I feel MEP is in my blood <laughs> because the MEP initiative, it's, um, it is an initiative, it is a program that no one came like uh, we are used to have projects that someone writes, says this starts on day and finish and it's, you know. MEP program, it's an it's initiative that uh, we wrote what we want to do. And we have this support to do our activities. It's part of having an initiative like that, where you, ha you, are, you have the ownership, you have the leadership. It's a, it, not with all. It is going well. 
what is not going well, what do I need to do to improve better, what else I need to add. Just first of all, once again, thank to our UCSD partners. From the beginning, they believed, no, it's not easy, from so far, fly to Mozambique, a Portuguese-speaking country, to seek for collaboration. And after we have established this collaboration in 2008, we didn't stop. Both sides thinking, what else? we could do together until we were awarded this MAP initiative. I would like to thank my institution because whenever I seek for support or recommendation letter, they were there to give this support. And uh, for the MAP initiative, I must thank the government through the Minister of Health and Education who believed and also gave us all support. They keep doing us orientations on how to do what would be better for the country. And finally for the US government also who released this MAP initiative and believe that uh, we can also be able to do something different for our continent. Thank you.